Hey groupies, welcome back to a very special episode of The Culture Study here on Forma Therapy. I'm the channel's video producer and your ever so sexy host, you can call me PD. And today we are checking out the music video for Luna's Star. Star is Luna's English B-side on their latest EP, 12 O'Clock. It's also the English version of their song, Voice. Now there is a hot debate amongst orbits, which song is better, Voice or Star? The answer is, regardless of what your choice is, you're still the winner because both songs are phenomenal. Now, I gave my review of this song already, so that's why this is a bonus reaction. I probably am not going to do a video analysis on this. I'm not going to do a song review on this. I'm just reacting to it just for fun, and I rarely do that on my channel, but I really want to do it because I am a huge Luna fan. Now, uh, people might be wondering, where is your review of Star and the other songs from Luna's 12 o'clock EP? Well, the thing is, I already released that listening party weeks ago. And a lot of you may not know that it's out because it was blocked in a handful of countries. So if you are one of the f uh, few people who actually did see it, congratulations, it's not blocked in your country. Uh, if you didn't know that it was out, well, it's blocked in your country. I would suggest using a VPN of some kind because... That's really the only way. Now, if you enjoy what we do on this channel, if you are a Luna fan like we are, uh, you want to see some bonus content, head on over to our Patreon. On our Patreon, we have live stage variety show, drama, reality show reactions. We have a lot of Luna content. Uh, we just checked out the first date with Weekly's Jihan and Luna's uh, Olivia Hay. If you want to check that out and follow that series, you can join us on Patreon. Uh, but supporting us monetarily is completely optional. If you don't want to or you can't, we understand. You know, a free way to help us out is to crush that like button. Crush that like button like Luna is crushing the industry right now. And leave a comment on this video after you see this and let us know what you thought. And also, if you're new, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. And well, actually, this is the beginning of the video, so the notification is actually going to be down here. But uh, if you want to subscribe to our videos, tune in, would greatly appreciate it. That's a free way to help us out. Now, let's get into this video. This is Star by Luna, and this is your form of therapy. Oh my, <clears throat> we are starting over again. What was that set? I was so thrown off. I thought this was gonna be like a special whatever video. Oh, I, I didn't realize this was gonna be a music video, music video. I don't watch teasers, so I had no idea. Oh my goodness, look at Kowan's hair. It is majestic. The way that Eve pronounce, pronounces loose, I love it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Those cosmic scenes are gorgeous. Oh my. Oh my goodness. It's like borderline a Christmas set right here. Oh my goodness. Oh, get ready for this. Oh my God, I can't ready. I can't believe it. Get ready for this breakdown. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my 
Oh my god, that was amazing. Oh, I love that they cut the aspect ratio for this breakdown. Oh my God. Look at Luna celebrating their success. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was amazing. That's a spicy meatball. That's that's what that meant. Oh my goodness. First of all, who filmed that video? Was that a DigiPetty video? I don't know if that was a DigiPetty video or not. It's certainly not their usual style of um color grading, I would say, or production. Um one reason why I would suspect it to be so, though, is uh, look at this. Look at this set. Look at this set. Doesn't this look like somewhat of a spinoff, but re some, like still in the same realm as their set from their underrated butterfly dance set from that music video? I know that DigiPetty uh, felt uh, very disappointed that they weren't able to feature that set more. And I feel like this feels like, ooh, some kind of a beautiful continuation of that. <sighs> My goodness. Like I said, this was a special reaction. This is like, this is a fluff piece, you know? This is just for, this is just for the entertainment. Uh, I'm not really going to do a song analysis breakdown, neither of the music video either. I will say, though, uh, after having listened to voice uh, by the way, I'm team voice. Um, I know a lot of people are team star. I think it has to do with um, the different vibe that voice and star give off. They do give off different vibes, but also because the English lyrics do make it easier to remember the song. Um, so that might be very appealing to a lot of people. But so lyrically, I, I, uh, I think that uh, just overall, um, I like voice, um, the chorus especially. Um, but it, it, it's a little weird. So the one part I don't like in Luna's voice is in the beginning, uh, the the first two courses when they when they start, they say smiowa. That's that's not how you that's not how you say that word. Like, but then like the they they kind of transformed and made that word weirdly pronounced just to fit the aesthetic of the song but it sounds really awkward to say smiowa 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 it sounds really awkward to say and i think starlight is way better but i don't like the second part of that in english and i like it in korean the moksori noya moksori i don't like the uh close to me you were all of me i don't like that as much as that so like the korean and english version have very different offerings and so whether you're team like i said whether you're team voice or star it doesn't matter we're both winners and this music video is exactly what luna deserved not only as a group but just for what they've achieved and accomplished so far and their contributions to the k-pop music industry this level of production quality because this music video is so gorgeous because i thought like i said i thought this was going to be i thought this was just going to be a special video you know at most i thought yeah it's going to be filmed nice in 1080p you know they're probably just going to like have a like a special dance set maybe film somewhere at their company i didn't realize it was going to be a full-fledged music video with a budget with elaborate sets and also just have amazing editing amazing camera work it's borderline honestly it's borderline an actual title track music video the only thing it's missing is actually glamour shots you know or more glamour shots anyway and i really appreciate that about this video they focused a lot more on the choreography and they focused a lot more on um 
showcasing um, uh, their visuals, but also them performing the songs while doing the visuals. Like it's not too, it, there's not too many glamour shots. So I really appreciate that. And what I really, really like is because on our Patreon, we have checked out a handful of performances of voice and we don't, we don't always get like the full performance of voice. And we always get like these weird outfits with voice, you know, this one, oh my God, they nailed it on the fashion point too. And up until this point, before this music video existed, the highest quality recording and filming of Luna's voice or star was their performance on the Knock 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 series. But that was only the ending portion of the song. It wasn't a full thing, but that was the highest quality and well-filmed performance we were ever gonna get. And I really didn't think we were gonna get a music video for this, but we got a music video for this. What the hell is going on with this promotion? Did they even get an additional high quality budget music video like this during their So What era? I don't think so. Or am I wrong? Did I miss something? But this was just that good. I mean, just look at this. Look at this visual splendor. I mean, I love, first of all, I love the fact that everyone kind of melds into the brown tones. Um, even Vivi here, her orange kind of melds with the orange. And then you have Kwon at the center and her blue hair just pops. And her being center at the start just really kind of brings center to uh, the entire choreography in the beginning. And it just really brings your eyes towards them. I I love it. And some of those cosmic scenes they shot was incredible. And, you know, I like the different uh, focal lengths that they shot the performance at. You, you've got some really long um, zoom lens shots, but then uh, towards the middle, uh, when they did the breakdown during Hyunjin's parts, uh, they had this uh, close-up. They had this incredible close-up shot. First of all, this is, oh my God, this shot is, the shot of Vivi is incredible, but if you go here. Like, this is a great close-up shot. It's like a close-up wide shot. Like, the variety of shots here is really, really well done. This is one of the most beautiful videos I have seen. And I I really, I'm so proud of Luna. I'm so proud of Luna. I mean, if you guys know, I'm just a huge, huge Luna fan. And so to see something like this, oh, this, is, this was a jaw-dropping performance. Oh my God. I just, oh my God. It just, it hits so hard. We're going to watch it again. We're going to watch it again. I'm sorry. There's no real substance to this video. I just, I'm just a huge... I'm a huge dork. I'm just in love with this song. This has like quickly become one of my most replayed songs of this year. You're in my mind when I'm asleep. I'm seeing stars sinking the streets. I don't want to spend. God, it's shot so cinematically as well. It has to primarily do with the long, the long zoom lenses they're shooting on and the overhead lighting. The overhead lighting causes such a very, just like cool, cool look. I got to hear that again. See, no one pronounces loose, uh, loose my head. No one pronounces loose like Eve. I love the way she pronounces lose. She says loose. Oh my God, Vivi has like literally more screen time in this video than she does in a lot of Luna title track music videos. I'm so proud of her. Oh, bro, those series of edits are so cool. 
Pa. Oh. When they come in with this drop, when all of the lights surrounding them come in, oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Literally all of their spotlights converging on them is so friggin' cool. That's so cool. Oh my This music video actually shows Kowon's face when she's singing during her lines. <sighs> this music video does so many of the members justice. Here we go, here we go. I love the mix between like the bright spotlights huh, and, and, and the confetti falling. Like it feels oh, so much of this is like bursting with so much emotion. Like I, I can't feel like I, I feel like I can't help but feel like I'm being overwhelmed. I, I like we're celebrating. I'm so overwhelmed. Oh my God. Hyunjin. Oh my god. When it cuts to the cinematic aspect ratio right here. When you when it snaps into those black bars, yo, that's when you know shit's getting serious. Just oh. oh, look at that zoom too. Oh, the black bars didn't move. See, there's an illusion. Um, I thought the black bars were closing in like this, but no, it's because it's zooming in. It's zooming in and the 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 blur effect on the zoom. It's not even a real zoom. It's a digital zoom. They added, oh my God, they added, they added like a digital zoom. That digital zoom gives it that effect. Center colon, center colon. This was this was a godsend this was this was the greatest gif gif gift i meant to say gift this was the greatest gift that luna could have given their fans thank you so much for making this video a possibility and making this video a thing thank you so much to blockberry for actually filming this and producing this oh my god can you imagine if we had gotten a video like this for satellite that is on the level of excitement i am and i will say not only is star my favorite luna b-side i didn't say this in my listening party because well i had only heard it the one time but i'm gonna say this voice and star and uh star may be an english version so i'm saying more so voice but the instrumental and the vibe is the same it voice is the greatest k-pop b-side of of all time for me. This is my favorite K-pop B-side. Seriously. This is my favorite B-side. Of all time. I'm not just saying it because it's Luna. I've been saying it for a couple weeks now. 
ever since I heard it and I've been re-listening to it, this is everything I want in a B-side. This is it. This is my favorite Korean B-side of all time. Thank you. And uh, welcome to my TED Talk. No, but uh, oh my God, I, I had so much fun. I It's literally like I'm off the clock. I'm not supposed to be filming, but I was streaming and someone told me, you know, Luna's um, star video is coming out, right? I was like, yeah, yeah, I know it's releasing tomorrow. But they were like, no. It's releasing in like 30 minutes. Like, oh, I'm stopping this stream. So I literally stopped this stream and I jumped right on here to record. So here you go. I'm going to release this like ASAP to right away. But uh, thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed it, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, you know, Patreon. You want to support us? Patreon. Hit that like button. Subscribe. End cards over here. Hope you had a fun time. Peace.